Hello guys, it's Paul Tizen here, and yeah, I'm bringing today the first review of my series of reviews of my custom figures I will start to make from now on until I finish. I have 45 figures and will go on by bags of 2 to 4 figures each week on Sundays and this will be the first season of the past two years I've been doing minifigures the second season will come on in 2015 and this is the first wave which is my six figs and what I have done so far of Noble Team so we'll go on a okay. The first one we have here is my sick fig. It's based on my Minecraft avatar. And as you can see, I, he's wearing a creeper t shirt, which I used to have, but now it's too small for my size. Uh, and I like that a lot, so I decided to use it on my Minecraft figure. Well, my Minecraft skin, and now on my sick fig, there we have a look face, sh short brown hair, which is my hair, jeans, trainers, and uh, custom painted needler, which is my favorite weapon. There's nothing on the back, so we won't look at there, okay? Okay, so let's move on to my Halo 4 avatar, okay? okay? So here we have my Halo 4 avatar, the member of Crimson Squad on Spartan Ops. And at first I didn't know how to make my my avatar in Halo 4. I was expecting to use a Recon helmet, but I came up with the wear helmet, I like that a lot since it was revealed. And the saw is my favorite weapon in Halo 4, it's a beast. That's it. And yeah, I came with the when the wear helmet. I asked the guys on Brick Warriors to make the the wear helmet on dark green. Well, in fact, I wanted the armor to be in dark green to make a Master Chief figure, and they did so, and I ordered some wearer helmets as well, and I decided to make a Green Warrior Spartan. It evolved a lot, and he wears a green and gray wearer helmet with solar visor, a scout shoulder pad, a ricochet, uh, what was it called? The ricochet, I think it was. The ricochet shoulder pad, the ODST armor, and I'm not sure about the arms or the legs. I put a lot of detail on this figure. If we move to the back, you can see even in the back, I even detailed the fingers of the figure, if you can see there, I'm not sure if you can see, but yeah, I have detailed that. I originally used Saber Scorpion's decals on here, here, and here, but I painted them to add my own type of detail, and this is my insignia on Hale in general, which is a Master Chief helmet with a yellow triangle, similar to a medal. And we'll take a look at the saw. The saw design isn't mine. I don't remember who was exactly, but I'll let you know in the description. I took a brick arms LMG, painted it in black. It was the metal originally. I sanded this part and this part, and I had a universal clip and the end of a minigun to make the the magazine and it came pretty badass looking very similar to the saw so now the next one is Emil from Halo Reach he's my favorite character in the Halo side in general 
because he's badass. He was the uh, one of the last members of Noble Team to die. You can see it uses Silver Scorpion decals. I want to replace them for uh, brick for custom painting and uh, brick for armor, but he does it work so far. I took one of the brick arms shot hill shotguns and I painted it like the M45 shotgun in hill rich oops and it looks really nice I think I don't know what you think about it I think it looks nice I originally made for Emil a custom cookery made of a Lego a Lego knife but I decided to purchase a cooker when it came out and I painted it like Emil usually wears it so it's pretty nice, I love how they made it on the kinds of brick arms old seven. so yeah, I used the... well, the helmet was originally pearl chrome gold from Lego but I painted it myself to let the decal stick better to it and then I painted the decal on silver I had the sight of a uh, Brickham's DMR to make this camera ML has on its helmet and as you can see I also added my own digital painting here on the legs and on the back as well so yeah we'll move to the last figure and I call him the Iron Spartan, but you might know him as Noble Six, and this is my Noble Six from Halo Reach. And I use this Brickford Dark Red ODST armor. The reason is because one, I like Iron Man, and this is his color scheme, gold and red. Two, I like the Lannisters from Song of Ice and Fire, and these are the colors as well. And they are the colors of communism. Yeah, ironic. Iron Spartan came from both Iron Man and as a reference to Stalin, who was the steel man, <laughs> but he was the only European leader who helped the Spanish during its civil war. They, he sent us weapons, while the British and French and Americans didn't do anything, while Hitler was bombing us. So, yeah, I used the Sith Rupert's legs and painted them all around, also the arms, the armor, I did want to add a lot of detail to it, as maximum detail as possible as the military police helmet I think it was called and I'm, I don't know so much the armor specifications of Halo Reach and I have given to him the soul rifle which this was my first hail weapon I got from Bericams it was a dark uh, transparent blue freebie which came with my first order back in 2012 uh, and I decided to paint it in black and make the hail read the soul rifle and the second one is a uh, energy sword and the reason why I chose these weapons is because my static says that my favorite weapon in Halo Reach are my bare hands. We, through melee attacks I have killed more people than we, than shooting them. It's ironic, don't you think? So yeah, uh, melee weapon and a close quarters weapon. So yeah guys, that's it for my figures. So let me know what you think on the on the video, on the comments or something and next week we'll have Sergeant Edward Buck from Halo 3 ODST Iona C. Marine, Sergeant Johnson and Master Chief well Halo 3 characters in general which is my favorite game Halo 3 and yeah guys I'll see you next week, bye